Well, folks, the Comrades had a nice three-day hiatus away from baseball. They came out here today to Cincinnati to face the league-leading steam, and unfortunately, they aren't able to pull off the victory as they fall 2-1. And John, to say the least, this was a very quick game. Finished in under an hour and a half here as we had really good starting pitcher from both teams. Brandon Sager came out and threw five solid innings. Wasn't able to get the quality start since his pitch count was high, but had 10 strikeouts, John. Absolutely phenomenal. Average of two strikeouts per inning, and these guys just weren't able to get it done with the offense. You wonder why Singer's pitch count was so high? 10 strikeouts, that's 30 pitches by itself, excluding any balls that he may have thrown, or thrown there. The Capras were able to get out very quickly from the gates. You saw a leadoff triple from Patrick Jones in the second inning, followed up by Grant Rubel double to score their go-ahead run, 1-0. Then they fell behind the rest of the game. Lost 2-1, to one. there was outstanding pitching all the way around. Thompson had one rough inning, and that is really the difference maker there. It really is, John. The other difference maker was the offense couldn't get going. Like we said, great starting pitching from the team as well as Matt Jefferson goes eight innings, gets a quality start as well, only gave up the one run, and you know, only four hits on the board for these cop reds. Really strange to see, too, because they did so well against the Hamilton Joes in that three-game win streak, putting up a lot of runs on the board, really relying on their offense, but fell a little short here. They ended up falling a little bit short. There will be another game tomorrow night where they have a chance to win against the GLSCL leading Cincinnati Steam. That broadcast will start at 645 with first pitch at 7. For Taylor Greich, I'm John Kosas. Thanks for joining us on CopperHeadBaseball.com.